Jekyll Mashogu actually say today he said he was misquoted by the media and that the national government will continue impacting institutions of learning through partnerships with relevant bodies and donors. So he came out after being called to clarify that he said he was misquoted. Now, moving on, the Kenya Society for Deaf Children is protesting an alleged plan by a private developer to grab land belonging to Pwani Secondary School for the deaf in Kilifi County. Now, this comes after top society board officials paid a visit to the school in order to support Form 4 candidates ahead of their KCSE examinations, only to find beacons set up within the 30-acre piece of land. They now want the government to arrest and prosecute those behind the heinous act. My name is Rhonda Kabiti, Director Kenya Society for Deaf Children, and uh, we are here with this team visiting one secondary school for the deaf to come and wish them well as they prepare for KCSE. And we are happy to find them that uh, the children are very busy and they are doing all the necessary arrangements to do the KCSE. But as soon as we arrived here, we were shocked that uh, we are getting some interferences in this school when the children are preparing for their exams. And the principal has just told us that there has been a lot of interference. These are deaf children, and these deaf children are not able to concentrate in their studies while there is interference outside their classrooms. This land has a title deed belonging to the Kenya Society for Deaf Children. The society that has put up 20 secondary school. We are warning those who are coming to put beacons around this compound to stop it for the width. They will not be allowed to mess up with this. And we are calling upon the government to immediately take action to protect Pwani Secondary School, whose land, uh, the land on which it is built, is under threat. Now, leaders from Kisi County.